Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. I see this question a lot about where I can find some good stocks to trade or how I can rec recognize a good setup. And the answer is there's lots of good stocks out there. It has to do with user preference, whether you're trading expensive stocks or penny stocks, stocks that are under $10. Now, I'm not a financial planner, and I'm by far not the smartest guy in the room, but I'm going to show you how I do it. And maybe this will help you get started or think about your trading. And for the beginners, I'm going to show you how to get started for basically free. How can I find stocks to swing trade with good setups for free? That's the topic of this video. Now, I'm not going to go into fine detail on every aspect of doing the, the trading view. If you have some questions on trading view, ask them in this video or go to my Discord chat and ask questions there. It's free as well. And it would, I'd love the dialogue. The dialogue helps make me a better trader. So ask away. I will try to answer all your questions. Finviz is a free tool out there. It has a, a map and also you can see which which sector is doing well but to get to stocks we can look at and pick anything off this off this menu here so what I recommend is to pick about 20 off this list Baba let's not go with Amazon it's Nike Neo we're staying away from Telso Facebook Verizon or T Disney these are stocks that I know and love Microsoft, love the good one. Intel, Qcom, like Texas Instruments. I like technology. Oracle, love. I'm not just picking the green ones, okay? Because financial, I'm definitely interested. Bank of America, Visa. You can choose much. How about PayPal? Energy, CVX, Home Depot, Procter and Gamble, Pepsi, Caterpillar, John Deere, Love Honeywell, CVS. Is a everybody heard of that? ABB and Johnson and Johnson. That should be enough. Let's choose those stocks to investigate further. Do you see how I did that? I just picked stocks that I recognize the symbols and knew a little bit about. This software is TradingView and it's free and you can have up to three indicators. You can have the zigzag which gives you the peaks and valleys of a stock but it's forward looking. It looks to the future. So you got to be careful how you use it because you're not you don't have the ability to, to look to the future All you can look when you make a trading decision is today and then you can do various Indicators this is the MACD the zero lag MACD the Stochastic RSI and the RSI this is actually four indicators you get three if you with a free version not, I have a I don't have a paid version, but you get three and you can choose three We're going to look at MACD just today. So we're going to skip the other ones and Trading View has a free stock screener. We'll be using that a little bit today. And a watch list. And you can create your own watch list. So taking those 20 or so stocks, I put it in a watch list and flagged it as a blue list. I'll use this flag later. Flag it by right clicking and adding the flag. The problem with this flag and stuff is you can only have one stock with one flag. So that's a that makes it a little hard. So, but we're gonna flag all the the list that my watch list as a blue flag. So we can go down the list now, in alphabetic order, or and we can just page through the stocks looking for an indication or an indicator that's giving us a, a trade single. But what what to look for? All right. So the indicators that I use are the zigzag. And I'm looking for when the zigzag does not know what it's doing. That's the time that it might be a, a, a reversal. What it knows what it's doing up to this point. It's a downtrend. But these last two bars confused it. And that's when you look for your symbols. You have a buy MACD. Is it too late? Well, it might be too early. You have a stochastic RSI, which is went below, which is the oversold condition and coming back around. Is it too early? That's not a good indication either. And RSI, which was below the 30, coming back around. It's above the 30 now, but it's pointing down. 
So what I do is I look for, especially for the R sign, the stochastic R sign, I look for extremes where the zigzag does not know what it's doing or the, the MACD on a long trend. This is a long trend down and that's a, up. So, and it's below the zero, but as long as this, we need to have some indecision. You have some indecision now, so you might take this trade as an MACD trade if we're only looking at that. Anyway, I go down, when I do a scan through, I look for when the MAC, uh, excuse me, the zigzag does not know what it's doing. It doesn't know what it's doing here. Look to see if there's any singles here and go down through the list. It doesn't know what it's doing, but this is just noise. Don't care about that. Capital One, look at this nice long trend up. MACD looks like it's going to be a green zoom, but it's set to zero. So I'm not too happy about that one. Stochastic's about ready to cross over. Do you want to take that? I don't know. It was a good one here. You took that that one. That was a nice trend up. RSI. Took that one. That was really nice. Let's see if that one uh, RSI. Yeah, that would have done it. Done it too. So whatever your indicators are, you can go scan it through like this. Once you have your list, and it shouldn't be all 8,000 stocks. It should be a list that you know and love. See, this is a zigzag. The, the mother zigzag it does not know what it's doing uh, right here. But the minor, the major, the minor, the minor does know what it's doing up to this point. Now it's, it, it's a little confused. So your stochastic RSI is above. It may be coming low. There's your RSI. This might be a short. Salesforce at a down day. Earnings. All these factors factor in, but this is definitely could be a, a, um, a short. Doesn't know what it's doing again, but that's the noise. So I am going to turn off two of these indicators, my two favorite, and go for the zero lag MSCD. Oops, I don't want that one. I want to just turn it all in relatively strength and just leave this one on. Now Trading View has a stock screener and it allows you to go ahead and turn your flag on. You see, it's looking at all the stocks out there that has uh, meets my filter criteria. My filter criteria is I want them all for this exchanges only and common stock. That's it. But when you turn the flag back on, it only looks at the stocks you selected. Isn't that nice? Now that you have a watch list that you can go ahead and manage, instead of looking at the whole domain out there, you have a subdomain. A subdomain that you know and love and you can go ahead and do search searches now based on that and so you're allowed to make some common screens you can have the uh, these standard ones and i made one myself that has these views it's stochastics rsi the rsi 7 and i can sort these out on strong buys if i'm just looking at rsi i would look maybe and sort that out based on the the size of the RSI. Well, we're going to go short. I look for high numbers. And if I'm looking for longs, I look for sh small numbers. And uh, I look to see if things are going up. But in this case, I'm looking for MACD. And I'm looking for, I want to look for longs. And I want to look for ones that are below MACD that's below the zero line. So the, the, those are above. They're not zero. So I want negative numbers. So there's one that's below, and it looks like the zigzag is going up. Were you too late? I don't know. It looks like it, it could be. Again, the same thing. Zigzag looks like it's going up. Doesn't know what it's doing here. MACD, zero, this is zero lag, so I'm going to be really early. Likewise, that's all. these are all look like good long ones. Possibilities, and you can do some other research. There's a bunch of, of filtering criteria you can use to get your search criteria down. down. And... And you can add and remove columns. You can set your own own columns and save that save it out here. There's a lot of flexibility, and you can use once you have your list, you can use it and filter it through this way based on some criteria. The only problem with with the criteria is that you're stuck with what they're using, not necessarily what you set your your indicators up as. So yeah, that's why you have to always look. But anyway, this is how I find my setups. This, um, I set my indicators, select my indicators, set up a watch list, and then filter it out using the doc screener. All this is for free. You can do all the things I just showed you for free. So I hope this helps you.
in trying to find good setups but they're only good for you you get you though these setups will you find will only work for you so you have to take pick your indicators pick your levels and screen screen for them and make your own decisions because your system only works for yourself learn your system learn to trade get started though and trading view is a good way to get started i hope this helps happy trading best of luck Thank you.